For a single leg hip thrust, we'll start just as we would for a regular hip thrust with both feet on the floor. Lean back against a stable elevated surface that hits you right below your shoulder blades. Keep your feet about hip width apart and let's go through the regular hip thrust first. We're gonna drive through our heels, squeeze our glutes and lift our hips up. At the top of this position, we should have a 90 degree bend at our knees. We should be squeezing our glutes, nice natural curvature of our spine. We're not arching our back, right? And drive your rib cage down so it's not flaring out. Gaze forward. All right, this would be your regular hip thrust. If you're still getting the hang of this, I recommend you stay here. If you're ready to add on, we'll do that same thing, but now for one set of toes, we'll lift those toes up, heel down. This foot is now, or this leg is now acting primarily just for balance. We're gonna drive through our other leg, which has our foot fully on the ground. All right, same thing. Inhale, exhale. Drive through that side that is fully planted on the floor. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Ooh, I feel it. And inhale, lower down. So you can play here to start. When you are ready to add on, we'll lift this leg up just temporarily. So we'll drive through our opposite foot. And as we do, I'm starting to fall off. As we do, lift this leg up off the floor. Now do not let your hips start to rotate to one side, hips should stay square. And then we'll lower down and let that foot rest on the floor for a moment. And when you are ready to go all the way with this, we're not gonna rest this leg. Instead, we'll go into our hip thrust and keep that leg elevated for all of our repetitions.